blackish, star Miles Brown looked like a strong contender to win, Dancing with the Stars. Juniors, after the series premiere episode, and week two cemented that the child celebrities performed songs from the years they were born, and Brown, one of the show's elder statesmen, at the ripe old age of 13, knocked it out of the park with his Argentine tango. Watch it above. Brown reached way back into music history to perform a song from the bygone era of 2004, I Don't Wanna Be, by Gavin DeGraw. It was a confident routine full of intricate choreography, and Judge Mandy Moore felt he took command of that performance. I loved it. Adam Rippon praised the impressive tango content. And Brown's partner work with his pro, Riley Arnold. And Velcha Murkowski also raved about his command on the dance floor, especially with a partner who's taller than he is. That tango earned Brown eights across the board from Moore to Murkowski and Rippon, giving him a total of 24 out of 30. That was an improvement on his first week performance by two points, and it was the highest scoring dance of the night, tied with Mackenzie. Ziegler and Ariana Greenblatt. This was the second week that Greenblatt tied for the top. Score, in week one she also led the leaderboard with a score of 24, along with Mandela Morris. But leading into Sunday night's second episode Brown was the frontrunner for the Mirror Ball Trophy, according to our users who entered their picks in our prediction center. Does this solidify his status as the young man to beat? Be sure to make your predictions so that the contestants can see how they're faring in our racetrack odds. You can keep changing your predictions until just before the next episode airs every Sunday. On ABC, you'll compete to win a spot on our leaderboard and eternal bragging rights. See our contest rules and sound off with other fans in our reality TV forum. Read more Gold Derby Entertainment News.